Hi friends, welcome to Storybooks and Art. And today we are gonna read the silly book, One Monkey Too Many. It's a great rhyme book, so you gotta get your ears ready to listen for the rhyme words. Words that end in the same way and they sound a lot alike. So this book is by Jackie French Kohler and the, illustration, the illustrator is Lynn Munsinger. So Jackie wrote the words. Jackie's the author, and the person that drew the pictures is Lynn. So after we're done reading our book, we're gonna make a monkey puppet. So let's get started. Here we go. One monkey, two many. One, said the bike man. This bike is for one. One monkey can ride it, and one can have fun. Ooh, look at that. It is fun to ride a bike, isn't it? And that does look like a good, wait a minute. Wait, let's go back to that first picture. He said one, but how many monkeys are in that picture? Uh-oh. But soon as the bike man went back to the shop, one monkey too many jumped onto the bike and one monkey too many wheeled off down the pike. I don't think they were listening to him. Look at that. Hooray, the two shouted, we're having such fun. This bike is far better for two than for one. What? They weren't listening though. <gasps> then Bingo, the bike, hit a bump in the road. It started to wobble and it started to pitch and one monkey too many ended up in the ditch. Oh my goodness. One monkey too many was on that bike. The bike, the person said one and two got on the bike. Oh, speaking of two, two said the golfer, this card is for two. If you're looking for fun, this is perfect for you. But as soon as those rascals climbed into the seat, there's the, the golf cart and he said it's perfect for two. Look at this. One monkey too many hopped up in between. One monkey too many rolled off on the green. Oh no, friends. So if there was two and one more added up, three monkeys on that bike cart, but he said only two. Yippee, they all wiggled and giggled with glee. This cart made for two is fantastic for three. They zoomed up the hill and they started back down. Then, oh no, they exclaimed as they jammed on the brake. One monkey, too many, ended up in the lake. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Those monkeys, they're not listening. Because he said two, but one more added on. Three. Oh, speaking of three, three. Three, said the boatsman, this canoe is for three. There's a seat on each end and one more. Don't you see? But just as the boatman was pushing them off, look at that, there's three little monkeys getting ready to get in the canoe. <gasps> one monkey too many swung into the boat. One monkey too many aboard in a float. So if he said there was three, but they added one more. One, two, three four monkeys in the canoe. They paddled quite nicely away from the shore. See, they said smugly, it's just fine with four. Look at that. But soon up ahead came the roar of the falls. <gasps> Yikes, they all screeched and they tried to, hard to stop, but one monkey too many had quite a long drop. Oh my goodness. They weren't listening and off they went down the waterfall. All four of those monkeys. Four, said the waiter. This table's for four. You'll be far too crowded if you try to fit more. But of course, while the waiter was getting their drinks. So they're out at a restaurant now, four monkeys. They're gonna sit down. Oh, they look very fancy, don't they? <laughs> Walking in, looking very fancy. One monkey too many squeezed into a seat. One monkey too many demanded to eat. See here, they declared as the waiters returned. Five 
guy fits just fine. Please do not be concerned. Wait a minute, if only four friends are supposed to be around that table, but five monkeys squeeze in, Ooh, are they gonna get in a fight at the restaurant? Then out came the dinners and forks started to fly, started flying. Drinks spilled and plates stumbled and monkeys got rude. <gasps> One monkey, too many, got covered with food, food fight. Oh, monkeys. Oh, monkeys. They are just not very good listeners and following the rules. Five, said the bellman. This bed is for five. I cannot allow any more to arrive. But the minute the bellman unloaded their bags, uh-oh, look, there they are. Oh, friends, what do you see down here in the corner? Is that a tail? Is that a monkey tail? Oh no, one monkey, too many, poked out his small head. One monkey, too many, crept into the bed. See, they agreed with a stretch and a yawn. We all fit quite nicely. The bellman was wrong. So there's five monkeys in the bed. But I'm seeing, wait a minute, I think I might see more than one tail sneaking in. Uh-oh, they're really going overboard. But soon as they started to toss and to turn, to kick and to twist and to sputter and snore, one monkey too many ended up in a war. Oh my goodness, it is pillow fight time. That is too much. They're gonna get in so much trouble. Uh-oh, six, said the author. This book is for six. The pages are full, so no more of your tricks. But that noon, when the author went out for some lunch, so wait a minute, this must be Jackie. That's the friend whose name is on the front who wrote the book. That must be her. She's writing the book. She said no more than six monkeys in this book, but she went out to lunch. Uh-oh. Who's behind the door? One monkey too many keeps sneaking and look. <gasps> look at all those monkeys. One monkey too many got into this book. Ah. Uh, what in the world? Those monkeys. And off they all go on the golf cart. What a silly bunch. What a silly, silly bunch. Did we make it to the end of that little monkey's wearing a red hat? Did we make it to the end? Let's check, it's a skinny spine. One monkey too many. That's the title of our book today. Well, let's make our puppet, friends. So in your bag, you will have a cute little brown paper bag and we're going to keep it flat for now and we're going to keep the flat part up front um facing us because we're going to add this is the face and we have two circles for the ears and we have a long oval for the belly and then we have the tail and i think this is a good idea to use our glue stick today our glue stick you have a bottle of glue but sometimes that can get a little bit messy and all we have to do is add the, the parts of our um, puppets together. So let's start out with the face. I'm gonna put a lot, a lot of glue and I'm gonna stick it down on top of the flappy part of my bag, just like that. There you go, because your hand's gonna go right up in there. And then we can add the ears on each corner of our bag, so simple. And then we can add the belly right in the middle, too. Lots of glue. Just like so. Like so, like that, like Miss Tabitha. There you go. And then the tail, where should the tail go? We'll have to turn our puppet over and add our tail, won't we? Yeah. Let's turn it over and add our tail. Just like that. Boom. Now this monkey's missing something. It's missing a face, right? So let's give, you can use your black crayon or your black marker 
and let's give him some eyes, two eyes. And I'm gonna make a little V for his nose, just like that. And then I'm gonna come down, and I'm gonna give him a nice wide smile. And monkeys have a little bit of a crease there. So there you go. That's one monkey. If we made two, that'd be one monkey too many, wouldn't it? There you go. Have fun with this puppet, my friends, and thanks for joining me today. I'll see you later.